the clip show format might just be the laziest way to fill an episode slot in TV history. Some shows have fun with it, making self-deprecative jabs at how lazy the format is. It's not a Simpsons Halloween special, more like a clip show made of clips you never saw. Now I often leave my downstairs TV on in a day, you know, just to fill the empty void of loneliness. But the other day when I went to go grab a drink, it was playing the season 13 episode of The Simpsons, Gump Roast. Now there's a great debate about when the golden years of The Simpsons actually ended. Many say season 9 or 10, some say the movie was the final hurrah, but I think it's safe to say, if it's got the 4-3 aspect ratio with the black bars, it's probably still pretty watchable. However, this clip show episode was rated a very average 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb in a season with mostly 7 out of 10 episodes. But even that was rated higher than the clip show episode from the much preferred season 9. All Singing, All Dancing showcases the Simpsons family recalling the many songs they performed across the last 9 seasons. But despite being in an earlier season in the show, this episode only managed to get a 5 out of 10 on IMDb. Even season 6, arguably one of the strongest seasons of the entire show has the self-referencing another Simpsons clip show which only gathered a poor 5.8 out of 10 during a season that otherwise only dips below 8 out of 10 once. According to TVTropes.org, you know they're important if they've got .org at the end. Apparently Fox originally wanted four, four clip show episodes, episodes of The Simpsons per season. That seems like a lot, right? There's like 25 episodes per season, and they wanted four of them to be clip show episodes. What? I could just imagine the fourth clip show episode of that season consisting of clips from the previous three clip show episodes. And presumably due to the consistently poor ratings on these clip show episodes, Gump Roast was the last of its kind and Simpsons phased them out after this one. So instead they just made regular episodes for the following 20 years, which were also pretty bad. But it got me thinking, if the biggest animated show of the last 30 years couldn't make an appealing clip show episode as far back as the year that Weezer's Blue album came out, yes I've got to mention Weezer in every video, no my family don't like me, then have any shows actually made a well received clip show episode? Well yeah, obviously. You thought there was like thousands of TV shows being made every year and just not a single one of them made a good clip show episode? Dumbass. But in a serious format, maybe not. It's not surprising that shows that often break the fourth wall and poke fun at common TV tropes such as Community or South Park would practice the clip show format by making parodies of them. Let's do a clip show. Bottle episode. Where our shows like The Simpsons use clip show episodes to revisit the golden years and remind people that this show was actually good at one point. <sighs> hey guys, Knockout Wolf here. I just want to let you know, I don't really fancy editing the rest of the video uh, so I thought we'd just go with something safe you know and, and, and use some clips of some old videos that I know you liked you know so I, I know everybody's going to enjoy it so enjoy the rest of the video uh, there's this new game I've, I've been told about called Minecraft or something uh, so I'm going to give that a shot anyway thanks enjoy the rest of the video bye we've got just what you need to turn that frown upside down and your penis They're gone. But the fact of the matter is, no matter how good the original episodes were, if you're just presenting us a compilation of clips out of context for no rhyme or reason, then we're probably just gonna spend most of the episode watching it thinking, I wish I was watching that episode instead. So let's look at some clip show episodes that fans actually liked. The season two episode of South Park, City on the Edge of Forever, pulls a clip show parody just 20 episodes into the entire series. Much like The Simpsons, this clip show is written around a loose plot with the kids being trapped on their school bus that is balancing on the edge of a cliff after an accident. Alongside this is just a classic South Park level of stupid B plot line and Miss Crabtree accidentally becoming a comedian whilst going to get help and forgetting about the kids completely. Meanwhile, Stan Cartman, Kyle and Kenny reminisce about events that happen in prior episodes. Except they misremember them 
and almost every memory results in them eating ice cream. Now that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> One memory even shows them in a scene from Happy Days where Fonzie does a motorbike stunt and then fashionably kills Kenny. But considering this episode features a lot of new animation and new voice work, it's hard to judge it as a typical filler episode as most clip show episodes are. Now that's what I call a sticky situation. Oh my god. You and I have had some pretty good times, huh? Ow! Ow! Ah! Community's TV and movie obsessed Arbed is often used to break the fourth wall, making fun of overused and predictable tropes. And that's canon. What? What are you... But this is just one of many elements that makes Community stick out so much from other sitcoms. I love it so much I'm actually watching it right now, I'm not even joking. And this goes no different for their fake clip show episode, Paradigms of Human Memory, which boasts an impressive 9.1 out of 10 on IMDb. The episode consists of all new footage, which is presented in a parody of a clip show episode, showing moments from completely unseen events. Whoa! The deputy's badge from when we spent that day in that old ghost town. Hell, you city slickin' such a- <laughs> I genuinely think I'm one of many people that initially thought they'd missed episodes when they saw this one, especially considering Netflix had removed the first Dungeons and Dragons episode. However, as the clip show episode goes on, it's apparent that the study group are reminiscing on adventures and mishaps that happened off screen, discussing moments of romance between characters, recalling fights, the Dean's frequency of turning up in ridiculous costumes, and even poking fun at how often Jeff has to repeat the same generic speech to resolve conflict. The episode was favoured so much, they made a second one in the following season. Curriculum Unavailable features the group attending a therapy session for Arbed, defending him by explaining the crazy situations that would often occur at Greendale, all of which being previously unseen. The episode just takes this wild turn when a therapist talks him into believing that the whole time Greendale was an asylum rather than a college and that the group had been institutionalised. Going as far as to show a clip of the group in straight jackets referencing previous episodes, like the trampoline in the secret garden. But this episode was even rated slightly higher with a 9.2 out of 10 on IMDb. But it's pretty apparent that the success of these two episodes aren't due to the fact they're clip show episodes, but mostly because they're just such great parodies of clip show episodes, and completely consist of new footage and stories unlike normal clip show episodes. So as I mentioned earlier, The Simpsons attempts often fell short of the expected quality. However, season 7's The Simpsons 138th episode Spectacular is a fourth wall-breaking retrospective hosted by 90 Simpsons beloved character Troy McClure. Hello, I'm Troy McClure. This non-canonical episode explores the creation of the show, OG clips from the Tracy Ullman show, deleted scenes, outtakes, and responding to fan mail with clips from previous episodes. However, the decent 7.5 out of 10 score can mostly be credited to the creative presentation and how unique the episode is compared to regular clip show episodes. Although, the Simpsons did successfully pull off a traditional clip show episode in the form of So It's Come To This, a Simpsons clip show. The title obviously jokes about the generic cop-out that a clip show episode often is. However, it was mostly created to give their team of overworked staff a well-deserved break during a time where Simpsons episodes would often take more than six months to create. A BBC review at the time said that this season 4 episode was as good as a clip show gets, and 28 years later, it's rated a respectable 7.1 out of 10. Like many clip show episodes, it's based around a basic backstory. In this case, Homer falls into a coma for seven weeks, and the family reminisce on previous difficult situations that they've gotten through. And despite a handful of attempts, it's perhaps the only traditional clip show episode of The Simpsons that people actually thought was good. Why'd you bring that up? It was an amazing episode of our lives. Following the fantastic hospital comedies theme of naming every episode my blank, my cat. Their slightly unique take on a clip show episode is called My Deja Vu, My Deja Vu. The title cleverly repeats itself, like me asking my friends the same question 20 seconds after they gave me the answer the first time. Which is somewhat worrying. It's anything but a lazy filler episode. 
as all the memories are refilmed within the scene, as if JD is actually experiencing deja vu throughout the day. I guess when you work in a hospital for five years, situations are bound to repeat themselves. Which is a much more interesting approach than JD just using his inner monologue to go, remember in season two when this happened? That's actually pronounced analgesic, not analgesic. It's actually pronounced analgesic, not analgesic. All right, the pills go in your mouth. And although it's not as creative as we've seen Scrubs in the past, it's certainly a bit more unique than just a traditional clip show episode, and it was well received, earning an 8 out of 10 on IMDb. But considering most of the episode follows a brand new storyline, with just little sprinkles of old episodes dotted around the hospital, it might be unfair to compare this one to The Simpsons milking the 90s for a subpar nostalgia fest. However, in Season 6, they finally did do a clip show episode in the form of My Night to Remember. And just like a certain cartoon family, they take a jab at the format as if it makes up for the fact that they're actually about to do a clip show episode. But unfortunately, I keep replaying them in my head like some clip show from a bad sitcom, too lazy to come up with a fresh story. The episode has quite a heavy plot, as Scrubs often did, but as fun as it is to rewatch some of JD's accident prone years at Sacred Heart and all of his wacky fantasies, the episode is really nothing to write home about. It only received a 5.6 out of 10 in an otherwise very well received season. Jesus, even the last season of Scrubs was rated higher. <laughs> That's saying something. So let's look at something a little bit better. It's unsurprising that Dan Harmon's next project after Community was just as, if not more, self-referencing and fourth wall breaking. Adult Swim's Rick and Morty rarely goes a full episode without at least a handful of meta jokes. But Total Rickle from season two, really takes the cake. You want some cake or not? Rated as the third highest episode of the entire series on IMDb with a 9.6 out of 10, the family faced the challenge of eliminating this huge group of parasites that have all infiltrated their memories as family, friends, and loved ones. The family genuinely think, Jerry included, that this guy called Sleepy Gary, who is always in pajamas, is actually Beth's husband. The episode looks back on dozens of completely fabricated memories that the parasites have created and inserted in their memories to prevent the family from killing them. As far as they're aware, they all have a lifetime of memories with every single person in this room. It's a really unique and fun way of doing a clip show episode because the entire thing is fake, minus the few real memories between the actual family members, which are still never before seen brand new scenes for that episode. So although this is a clip show, it's anything but filler content and probably took even longer to create than a traditional episode of the show due to the myriad of wacky and fun new characters. Season 3's less favorable Morty's Mind Blowers still boasts an impressive 8.9 out of 10. This episode also parodies clip shows, but in a slightly different way. The memories we see are real this time, just completely unseen by viewers before as we get to explore a variety of bad memories that Rick has removed from Morty's mind and stored in a room full of tubes. Morty's mind blowers. And we'll be doing this instead of interdimensional cable. <sighs> Finally, the last clip show episode I want to talk about is It's Always Sunny's The Gang Does a Clip Show. The series was seriously overdue a clip show episode, especially considering how often it plays on satire and parody. With the show being on air for over 15 years, Naturally, in the last few seasons, it started to take a dip in quality, but with a sitcom as good as Sunny, those dips are still often leaps and bounds ahead of other shows. And season 13's clip show is no different, with its 7.5 out of 10 rating sitting above some lower rated episodes in the same season. With the gang all updating their phones, conveniently taking 30 minutes, they start to reminisce like any traditional clip show episode. What if we just kick back and remember some of the good old days. No, what? However, similarly to South Park, they begin to misremember memories and then completely make up new realities to benefit themselves, such as Charlie dating the waitress who is pregnant with his baby, Frank having a full head of hair, and Dennis living without Mac. The gang even go as far to remember an entire scene from the show Seinfeld as their own memory. In true sunny fashion, it then spirals out of control into conspiracies of being trapped inside the memories of each other, referencing Inception, and the iconic spinning top. That's not remembering, that's just making stuff up. So those are all the clip show episodes I wanted to talk about. There certainly are favored clip episodes from other shows, such as Duckman, The Clerks cartoon, an April Fool's episode of iCarly, Supernatural, Frasier, Teen Titans Go, Phineas and Ferb, various animes, 
And the list just goes on. We could go on all day, but I specifically wanted to talk about clip show episodes from shows I actually already enjoy and know a lot about, so I didn't have to just deep dive into Wikipedia. And as a fan of these shows, I can take the clip show episodes and the regular episodes and compare the two in quality. But what makes the difference between a good clip show and a poor lazy clip episode in these examples is that well, the good ones are mostly parodies. Or in some cases, completely brand new content that doesn't lazily recycle old episodes to help flesh out a season or keep the network happy. Thank fuck we didn't get four clip show episodes of The Simpsons per season. Sure, we could look at the bad clip show episodes from a bunch of shows, but we already know how bland it can be when you're channel surfing. Do people still do that? And you see a show that you like, so you click on it, but it's just a compilation of clips from previous episodes that you could have just watched on YouTube. But even traditional style episodes that reuse old scenes often mold it around some new content or basic backstory. I mean, hey, The Simpsons all singing, all dancing may be season nine's low point, but it's still fun to see the family being held at gunpoint by a singing snake. For hostage purposes, you're just too weird. Bye. So it seems like the key to having a successful clip show episode is by having fun with it. Unfortunately, just going, ha ha, it's another clip show. Uh, you haven't got any choice. Ha ha, gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha, egg on your face isn't gonna cut it. If an episode is quite obviously just filler or a cop out, then don't be surprised when fans don't react too well. Just be creative with it. Or get a five out of 10 on IMDb. Could be worse, I suppose. Oh, well, that's a me, a Mario. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. That's probably not the right place. I'm just currently pointing at my penis. I hope you have a wonderful day, or if not, you could just think about other days you enjoyed. Like a clip show. Okay, bye!